Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the error message 0x800701AA. The cloud operation was not completed before the timeout period expired. An unexpected error is keeping you from copying the file. If you continue to receive this error, you can use the error code to search for help with this problem. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward issue, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing we're going to do is actually reset the OneDrive application. So just open up the search menu and type in run. Best match should come back with run. Go ahead and open that up. I'm going to have a path or command in the description of the video. So just keep in mind we are resetting it. So make sure you have that information backed up to the cloud if possible. At least the application itself is about to be reset here. And it will be included in the description of my video. Go ahead and select OK. And give that a moment. And then you should be prompted to set up your OneDrive account or connect to your OneDrive account at this point. So again, hopefully that has been able to resolve the issue. So like I said, pretty straightforward process on that. And something else we can try here as well. If you open up the search menu and type in settings, best match, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select apps. And then on the right side, select installed apps at the top. In the search apps field, type in OneDrive. Best result, should come back with Microsoft OneDrive. Go ahead and select the three dot icon next to it. And then you can select uninstall. This app and its related info will be uninstalled. Select uninstall. Select yes if you receive the user account control prompt. Give that a moment to uninstall. And then once it's done, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. Now that we're back in Windows, open up the search menu and search for store. Best result should come back on Microsoft Store. Go ahead and open that up. And in the search field up at the top, search for OneDrive, all one word. Best result should come back with OneDrive. Just go ahead and open that up. Select the Get button. Give that a moment. And then once it's finished installing, you can go ahead and launch it or search for it in the search menu. It doesn't really matter. And then you just go ahead and sign into your account. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.